Hello. Hi, I am a space pirate. <laughs> Is that what they're calling it now? Yes. Well, we're continuing on with that Shrek fan fiction that doesn't feature Shrek. <sighs> Luckily, we're almost done, so... Kind of. Yeah, well. Almost is very much a relative term with this. Yeah, yeah well, let's see how off-topic we go this time around. <laughs> yeah. yeah, who doesn't love we're being off-topic? We're on chapter six. There's no author's note this time. Taking oh, Von... Taking Vanyata's reins again, I followed the strong tingling. Yeah, that's right, that happened. Altering my course as needed to stay on the path. We walked for what seems like forever. Tenses. The love of God, mm -hmm. tenses. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Before we came to a bright clearing, it, you, you went from past to present to past. It's, no. Uh, the sun shone through the thick branches, creating a mottled pattern of light and shadow on the leafy ground. This seems like a good place to rest. I murmured to Vanyata before taking out some food. Uh, uh, before taking out some food out of the bags, the horse, being a horse, said nothing. <laughs> Nay. <laughs> Though it did give me kind of a weird side eye. I think my horse is disappointed in me. I would be too. <sighs> Your turn. She nickered and started tearing at the short grasses that grew in the partial light, munching on a heel of bread and taking sips out of my water skin. I set myself on the soft ground and leaned against a tree trunk. When I was done with my small meal, I closed my eyes and listened to the sounds of birds chirping and flitting from tree to tree. I must have dozed off of it because I opened my eyes to von Vanilla, vanilla <laughs> nudging me impatiently, blowing hot air in my face. It smelled terrible. Groaning quietly, I stretched and slowly stood up, flinching at my stiff back. Patty Von Yada snout fondly and picked up the reins again before moving to find the magical path again. I think we should do it again. <laughs> do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. I, I don't know why, but every time that happens, it's just like a fresh wound to me. Do it again. <laughs> like, like every time it starts getting repetitive in a sentence or a paragraph with this. Minutes melted into what into hours, and hours melted into what felt uh, what seemed like an eternity. Well, that escalated quickly. As my faithful horse and I traveled along the elven path, uh, taking short rests as often as we needed to. I don't know whether I actually kind of like the name the elven path or I hate it. It's not a bad name. I it's just, not. Weirdly enough, I get the feeling that that's just something that the characters themselves came up with, though, because I don't think that was ever mentioned before. And I don't that, remember. That bugs me. Hmm. Yeah, sorry, I... I didn't keep up to date on my Shrek lore for this fanfiction. My bad. Ah, uh, yes, the <laughs> the elves of Shrek. How how deep their lore is. I mean, don't you remember all those great moments from Shrek? With the elf? Yes. I mean, in general, but yes. Uh, yeah, I still think Shrek's a blast. I mean, the first one. After that, why watch? Puss in Boots, man. One. Puss in Boots. Yeah, okay. see, the second one has some nice stuff, too. Okay, yeah. The second one has Antonio Banderas. There's, like, one reason. There's also a spin-off Puss in Boots movie, which I actually really like. <laughs> I am Puss in Boots. In Boots. <laughs> in Boots. <Anyway. clears throat> uh, da, 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 steady you said stream. Groaning. The steady stream of tingling magic suddenly started to grow as we walked past a huge rip in the earth, as if a tree had decided to pick up its roots and move to a new spot. Oh, we're going to meet tree people, aren't we? Again. 
<sighs> Vanyata and I stopped and stared at it for a few minutes Creepy. before it finally Creepy. dawned on me. That right. tastes like tr uh, tree, act like people, tree people. <laughs> you fought tree people before, Ava. <laughs> Why are you surprised by this? Holy crap! <laughs> if the ant tracks are this freaking huge, then how massive could they possibly be? These are redwood ants. Get fucking ready. Oh no. <laughs> Hundreds of feet tall. Mm -hmm. And about 25 feet wide. Big trees. <laughs> I, Big tree. <laughs> I yelped in fright as the earth began to shake around me before seizing Vin uh, Vanyata's reins to quickly guide her off the path to shelter. She whinnied and reared up in fear as rabbits and squirrels darted in front of her, yanking the leather loop right out of my hands and sped away in a random direction. Vanyata, Leta, Costa Aptor, I screamed, taking a few running steps hey. after her before I was scooped up by a massive rough-feeling hand. <laughs> oh my. Then it, Finally, then it squeezed. Finally, I found a snack. <laughs> Then it squeezed, and that was the end of it. A wizard <laughs> should know better. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um... I screamed in terror. I screamed in terror and rage as I struggled to free myself from <laughs> screaming curses and insults in both this language and the ancient language. Feeling you mean the language from Aragon? Mm -hmm. I whipped my head around as far as I could see could to see the massive looking tree its bark was a cross between a dark brown and a steely gray and patches of emerald moss growing up around its trunk wait it has two trunks no they combined into what looks like its body about 20 feet above the ground you have met tree people before why are you surprised by tree people because this one grabbed her <laughs> <laughs> bad touch mr tree bad touch let me go, or I swear I'll find a way to kill you, you hear me? The tree this, just character, kind of this character isn't near, like, endearing enough for this sort of thing to work. You know what I mean? Eh, I mean, that's one of the things, it's like... It, this character is not, and it's... I don't think I've ever met, um, like, a a character in some things which would make it to where it's like they would do something like that because I've had it to where, like I remember some books I've read where they've gotten into situations like this when there's something much bigger and much more powerful than they are that have them helpless they're mad and they see the creature and they're like oh shit and they get terrified and so that's like I think part eh. of it is that the anger has to have a reason for being there I mean, granted, it's supposed to be implied that Ava's just a naturally angry person, but we haven't had that happen enough except for moments of, oh, her blood rage is a thing. Because magical bullshit plot device. <laughs> so that nah. to actually factor in too much. If it was shown that she was, like, say, someone who had naturally just... Say if you had it to her just from time to time, she would just have, like, weird, out-of-place, dark thoughts... And I don't mean just like the whole jealousy thing she had back during part one whenever she was still at the school and upset about Guinevere. Um, like it's the whole thing of like you either need set up to this or you have to have it to where the anger doesn't just suddenly happen without a triggering mechanism. If like say whenever she got picked up it ended up, like, twisting an arm weird, and so that pain was pissing her off. That would be one thing. It was like, having a character that is, like, very much in a bring-it-on mood against something that they probably shouldn't be able to take, that's mm -hmm. not a bad idea either. But, again, you need to have it to where the character is in some way endearing to the audience to where you're like, yeah, yeah, that seems about right and feels earned or you need to have it where like the anger has something that's caused it to happen i mean in either case you need the anger to have like a causal mechanism you can't just i'm angry now 
<sighs> Either that or you need to have them be angry 100% of the time, but you haven't been doing that, author. I screamed, pounding my fists against its bark, making some of it flake away. A sound like an avalanche rolled through the air as I was lifted higher still, making me slightly dizzy at the distance. It seems like you are a feisty one, youngling. Oh, go. Oh, God. Anakin's going to kill her. A deep, slow voice rumbling as the hand slowly opened and turned palm up so that I was sitting in it. It could be magic against space magic. Flicking my hair out of my face, my, draw, my jaw dropped as I saw who had captured me. I... <laughs> It's the Muffin Man. <laughs> Your wonder and amazement at the size of this lad should have happened a lot sooner. Yes. When being several feet off the air, like, when being ridiculously high in the air, only got you up to its crotch. That, I... Whoa, that's pretty hot. I'm sorry, do you want to fuck a tree? I mean, is there one available? Not in Texas. Not in this part of Texas, no. Staring at me with a mixture of curiosity and amusement was a face that seemed to be carved from the wood of a tree. Probably because it was a tree. I... Oh my god, I didn't see that one coming. Like, there's one thing of, like, making an allusion to it seeming as though his face had been carved into him. But, I... <sighs> Like, I feel like this could be done so much better, and that's what's upsetting me. You have the potential for something interesting. And you're just not doing it. Both of its eyes were grass green with flecks of a muddy brown swimming in them. Each one was about the size of dinner uh each one about the size of dinner plates. Multiple, I guess. Multiple dinner plates aligned uh like arranged in a radial design. In place of hair, vines and leaves hung from the branches, shooting out of its head. Hmm, it mused, eyeing me in interest. You spoke words from the ancient tongue. How did you learn of it? Fuck you. <laughs> How about that? Put me the fuck down, tree. <laughs> Like I said, if the character was 100% angry at all times, and it just had, and she just had moments of slightly lesser anger, that whole thing of her immediate reaction being angry when she got picked up would make sense. If someone just tried to lift Kratos off the ground, he would very much try and kill them. Or at yes. least break their hand. Goodbye, hand. Um... I only could gape at it, feeling no bigger than an ant compared to the massive being holding me. Being... <clears throat> being hold me. <laughs> As it waited patiently for an answer, the ant exclaimed... Sorry. Oh, oh. oh shit, hold on. So yeah, I actually threw up that time. The oh, ant God. examined me closer, bringing its hand closer to its face. Like, just in your mouth, or full on? Uh, kind of like, a bit popped out. Because I've done, like, just slight throwing up in my mouth, like, from time to time. Suddenly tasting bile. Yeah, pretty much like that, yeah. Like, I actually spit a tad bit out, though. You look it's remarkably gross. familiar. I just cannot think of how. It finally I announced, mean, after a few minutes of examining me, leaning back and stroking its mossy beard and thought. What a thought. Again, all I'm thinking is that this is just supposed to be Treebeard. Hmm. Who are you? I managed to stutter out, inwardly cringing at how weak and small my voice was compared to his. <laughs> been cringing at you this entire time. Uh, at least she's self-aware at this point. Dun, dun. Mm, uh, <laughs> I, and 
What do you want me to do about that? So I'd trying? like you to read, because I don't we, like this story. I want to be I'm done sorry. with it. We have a no-energy Tom and a distracted Zane. It's a great recipe for commentary. Yeah. What's my line again? What do you call yourself? I have, which uh, one is it? Who, uh, uh, hmm. Hmm. I gave. I have many names, youngling. God damn it. I hate that response so much. <laughs> I hate the take, fact that it keeps using the word youngling. It would take many a moon to recite my full name. <laughs> but you may know me as native. The ancient oak in this tongue. He replied, lifting his gaze and glanced at the trunks of the ancient trees of the forest for a brief moment before returning his gaze to me. So from what I can gather from this is what that technically means is that tree language takes several years to speak. Well, I mean, that's part of it. Yeah, that was one of the whole things in Lord of the Rings is it took oh, hours. Dear God. It, it is actually hours. just ripping off Treebeard. Yep, basically. Um, and uh, mm. it took like days just for the ints to exchange pleasantries. <laughs> like uh, in, in the in the movies, it's like it, it's a lot shorter than it is in the book. P yeah. uh, Mary and Pippin were there for weeks in the book, just waiting. And also... In the books, the ints were much bigger than they were in the movie, which I was a little disappointed with the ints in the movie, but they still did a really good job with them. Uh, also, something I find hilarious is the fact that Treebeard was based off of one of uh, J.R.R. Tolkien's best friends. In the fact that he was a nice person who was very forgetful and wouldn't ever and would never shut up. <laughs> okay, that's great. I didn't know that, but I love this information. <laughs> I just love that, like, I love my best friend. We're going to base a character off of him who's this really jovial guy who never shuts up <laughs> and mm -hmm. can't remember for shit. I love my wife. I'm going to make her God. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> like, one of the gods in, like, Lord of the Rings or, like, godlike figures is based off of his wife. Mm -hmm. I think it's That's... Goldberry is her name. Yeah. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Turning your waifu into a god? Amazing. <laughs> uh, what do I you love call... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I love my wife. Sorry. I love my wife. <laughs> oh. love my wife. <laughs> what do you call yourself, young Link? Sitting up a bit straighter, I examined the end before I replied. I'm Ava. Oh, I'm Ava Thalela. <laughs> Ava Thalela. Uh, there uh, we go. Again, if you're going to give a character a name, make sure that it sounds like a fucking name. Like, even in other languages, when a name is said, it sounds like a fucking name. Mm hmm. Some people. I, oh God, like, yeah. like an easy way to do it is to say what you wrote out loud, and if it rolls off the tongue, go with it. If you so need Pickleback's to... a good name. What is? Pickleback. Yes. Nice. <laughs> you, you don't get it, Zane. He turned himself into a pickle. It's the funniest shit I've ever seen. Don't you fucking start with it. <laughs> <laughs> Up to a pickle. It's the most <laughs> high level of humor, dude. Why is this coming back? I thought we were done with pickle Rick. I thought it was over. Why is it coming back? I was done with pickle Rick the first time I saw him, but that's How just don't you me. You fucking start with me. It was funny in context, and that was it. Yeah, and then it just became. It was funny, not and funny. Then the internet got a hold of it, and everything went to shit. Mm-hmm. I turned myself into an anchovy. I'm anchovy Rick. <laughs> blub blub, Marty, blub blub. <laughs> I can't breathe, Marty. Please put me in the tank, Marty. I can't breathe. <laughs> Help! <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> right, right, right. My line. That seemed to get the end's attention. He turned his gaze back to me. Oh, the fuck. Uh, why is your name so hard to say? Your last name, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I believe I remember where I've seen you now, youngling. I used Why? to watch you in bed. It was very easy, as despite how high up your window was, I could peek right in. <laughs> Why, Why have is that you... funny to me? <laughs> what if that's actually the thing? He was actually the tree outside of her school. <laughs> Red Redwood Int watches you masturbate. <laughs> it is disappointed. <laughs> uh, is this the new ceiling cat? <laughs> Anyone even fucking remember that meme? Anyway. I remember that meme. <laughs> There was Why? ceiling cat and basement cat. <laughs> I think a basement cat's watching you masturbate. There's several problems. <laughs> why are you why are you masturbating in the basement? Why have you come here, Ava, last of the elves? He questioned, his huge eyes boring into my small violet ones. Uh, oh yeah. My quest to kill all elves. <laughs> crush, crush. <laughs> <laughs> my purpose is done drops the body just walks into the forest <laughs> credits roll hello horse <laughs> just pets the horse like nothing's wrong I mean it could be worse it could do with a horse with the beast titan did fucking hell yeah possibly mm, that yeah. fucking scene mm. I, I've come Ever here to look horse for go hawk one <laughs> I, I've come here to look for the ancient elven cities. I want to know where I was born and who my parents were, I stated firmly, narrowing my eyes to glare at him. My eyes are purple, by the way, just in case you forgot. Your parents <sighs> never existed. You simply came into being to wreak havoc upon the world. You are an agent of chaos. I am an agent of order. Therefore, you must die. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just imagining... Now go forth and unleash hell. Drops, walks away. <laughs> I wash my hands of this. Right. Um, <laughs> I would greatly appreciate it if you either took me to the capital where I know Queen... Queen motherfucking Marinara Sauce <laughs> and King Canthar once lived, or you could point me in the right direction... Regardless of your approval, I am going to know where my home once was. I continued to get to my feet in his rough palm and lifting my chin up in what I hoped was a challenging glare. He just drops me. Again. Maya era. Unless you actually take some like steps to figure out a good pronunciation of it, does not sound like a name. But it's cool. <laughs> Don't even get me started on Canthar. Uh, okay. He blinked once, then threw his head back and laughed. A sound like a thousand earthquakes at once rolled through the silent forest. Where the fuck does everyone not know where he is at all times? Because, really? shut up. <laughs> no. <laughs> I refuse. Ah, uh, you sound so much like your young Valila. He said after he had calmed down. I watched her through her window, too. She had a lot of people over that she wasn't supposed to have. Dear God! <laughs> That's how you were born. Uh, <laughs> we never did find out who the father was. Just kidding. It was me. <laughs> Just kidding. I remember who it is. Me. <laughs> Me. <laughs> I wrecked your mother. So, so hard. <laughs> oh, she God. did not see it coming. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, this is turning creepy. Let's stop. <laughs> yeah, the she didn't see it coming part is a bit worrying. <laughs> I was going to make a joke that she couldn't walk for literal months, but never mind. Dun dun dun. Oi. <laughs> Whose fucking line? It's Zinx. Uh, 
<gasps> Both confusion. Both confusion and all hit me at the same time. The fuck? <laughs> Wait, you know my mother? I quickly asked with wide eyes. Who was she? Yeah. Do you know my father too? Me. How do you know this? <laughs> <laughs> of course I know him. He's me. I know I told you my name is Ancient Oak, but you can call me Tree Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> it's also what your mother called me. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Get into creepy territory again. <laughs> uh. <laughs> What's so creepy about it? You don't like trees. You don't like tree, daddy. <laughs> Instead of answering, the int chuckled the same avalanche-like sound from earlier and started walking through the dense forest along the same path I was following earlier. Is he going to eat here? Little did so. you know I was in fact a giant elf. This is what elves actually look like, child. This is what happens to elves when they re when they hit puberty. Don't worry, you're a late bloomer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 18. Did I stutter? <laughs> elves have a second puberty. <laughs> Where they turn into trees. <laughs> <laughs> this is so dumb! <laughs> Don't try to think about the size difference between a baby elf and an adult elf. <laughs> It'll all make sense when you hit puberty. Again. <laughs> Wait, what about my horse? I asked, panicking as I saw the landscape lazily pass by my pass my on the on fuck as I saw the landscape lazily pass my on either side of me. She'll find you. She's a smart animal. The end replied, moving his hand, making me lose my balance and follow my butt again towards his body to cradle me gently. Haha, <laughs> you said butt. <laughs> you said fall. <laughs> you said trap. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking of. Thank you for noticing. Seeing as I have no choice but to let him carry me, I sighed and gazed at the passing scenery, eventually zoning out altogether. <laughs> uh so, young elf, how did you survive the elven purge? <laughs> no, the creepy now voice stalled me out of my thoughts. Now he's turning into Guru. <laughs> no! Guru. Take his coat. No! Don't take his coat. It's not as funny if you don't have the line between those. <laughs> eh, I know. What is the line again? It's like, uh, sir, this is the same person the who... The man who killed most of our people. No! Don't take his coat. Ah, dang it, it's already too late. I ruined it. Yes. I'm terrible. I it's hate like it. you ruin everything. Uh, don't say that. Tom's my favorite person here. <laughs> well, I don't know who else I like else Tom more than I like myself. <laughs> uh... I'm I'm flattered, Zane. I really am. But <laughs> take care of yourself, man. You deserve it. No, don't. Do that. <laughs> that bitch oh, no. stole my stars. Murder her. <laughs> like Sorry. I said, it distracted Zane. Furrowing mm -hmm. my brows, I shook my head and replied, "I don't know. Never really thought about it before." No, it never occurred to me to think about how I possibly could have survived the genocide of my entire race. Most of the time, I try to avoid those thoughts for your information. <clears throat> the ant hummed and thought and remained silent for a few minutes. Call him Tree Daddy. That's his name. <laughs> <laughs> Why does nobody respect Tree Daddy? <laughs> <laughs> Dear God. Uh, 
I'm trying right, to remember right. what Treebeard referred to the hobbits as. Uh, little orcs, I believe, was what he started out calling them. Um, little orc? That's adorable. Yeah, he'd never seen a halfling before. So he's just like, orcs! That's what you are. What the fuck are you? <laughs> what is this small thing in front of me? <laughs> um, do you have Do you have anything for second breakfast? Second breakfast is best breakfast. What is second breakfast? <laughs> what is okay, second yeah, breakfast? he called he called them little orcs. I was right. <clears throat> All right, little orcs. Um, try to remember. It? It's Zane's. Oh, okay. Try to remember, youngling, for I am curious in how you survived. He said I, after a while, turning his gaze onto me, then back to the forest. I Please wish remember to your PTSD. I wish to make sure this mistake is not repeated. I'll make sure they're all dead next time. What? Care Nothing. Like the rest. <laughs> <laughs> There's an albino. <laughs> I survived by such and such. Ah, good. Therefore, you will not be able to use the same technique again. Thank Wait. you for this knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> Furrowing my brows, I nodded once, then closed my eyes, sinking into a knob flashback. Oh, God. <laughs> Fortunate son plays softly in the background. <laughs> <laughs> the trees were screaming. Ah. Carefully sorting through my memories for any trace of how I survived. I don't know how long I stayed like that, memory after memory flashing under my eyelids. Just as, uh, just as I was about uh, to open my eyes and tell Nidith about my lack of progress, a memory I haven't seen before flashed through my mind. Honestly, the thing that annoys me most about this story is the fact that it's a Shrek fan fiction. Mm -hmm. It's turned <laughs> because... into something different. Like, if this was its own thing, it might be... Like, if this was its I'd own be thing, <laughs> I'd be upset about the plagiarism. Mm -hmm. Like, the copying mm -hmm. and shit. Like, the stealing from other shit. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't be like, why is this a Shrek fanfic? Yeah, no, the whole thing with this, it's like, it's got some ideas that could work in certain things. And honestly, I'm actually really enjoying the way this. I mean, even if she is blatantly ripping off Tolkien, but at the same time, I've always liked the ends. But. It's just, eh, I don't know. the story's not great. It's one of those things, is like, if this was supposed to be its own thing, yeah, the story is not great, but it's still something that shows potential. You have the whole thing of, like, the stereotype of fantasy, like, racism. Okay, that's something that you can do something interesting with. Main characters, the last of her, like, last of her race. All right, that's something that you can work with. Like, it's this whole thing of like setting up interesting ideas, but none of them are done well. And it's just like in the back of our, our minds, we're always just waiting for that ogre to show up, and he never does. Yeah, because it's like, what? Again, why is this a Shrek fanfic? Is it just because she wants to bone Artie from Shrek the Third? That's a possibility. Why do you want to bone Artie? It feels like Ar somebody who's trapped themselves inside a certain fanfiction. And they don't want to, like, you know, remake the whole thing, so they're just still going with it, even though the entire story's different now. It started off as a Shrek fan fiction, and then they were like, wait, I have an idea for something I could do with this character. Wait. <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> Fuck this Shrek thing. Yeah, so, um, what's my line? It's my so, line. Yeah, it's Tom's oh. line. Tom has the nom flashback. Smoke Wait. burning, smoke burning flesh and the metallic tang of blood, accompanied by the sound, or accompanied the sounds of the screams of women, the cries of frightened children, the Why metallic clang. Really women screaming. Mm, of metal on I metal. Don't know. If I was on fire and being stabbed, I think I would be screaming. Mm -hmm. Maybe the male elves don't have any voices. Or maybe or their are throats are too loud, so they can't scream. <laughs> oh, or I guess that. I have. Oh no, that's not what I mean. All the men have already had their throats run out in this flashback. 
Anyway, Tom. Uh, sorry, I lost my place. Uh, warm arms cradled my body as the carrying me dash past the trees, frequently checking behind her for any pursuers. The orange glow of fires burning behind her made it nearly impossible to tell what she looked like as my tiny head lifted from the woman's breast to gaze up at her face. Shouts behind her made her speed up as she bounded through the trees like a frightened deer, headed heading towards some unknown destination. When the shouts faded, the woman slowed down to a stop in front of the great white tree with a hole high up in the trunk. With a single bound, the woman jumped in onto the nearest branch and steadied herself on it. Ding. Like a cat. Boing. Hush, my dearest Ava. You're going to be safe now. She could as she gently placed me into the hole and hid me with the dead leaves and branches. Off. She's pulling a kung fu panda now. <laughs> it stated that things are on fire. Why are you hiding her in a tree? It, it's a white tree. It's not going to catch on fire. It's going it's, to catch on fire. It, it probably is. But if it caught on fire, then Ava wouldn't be here. So we know it doesn't catch on fire. I mean, if she was pulling a Kung Fu Panda, she would have left her in like the storeroom of a restaurant that was owned by someone who lived on, on the property. That's a better idea, because at least someone's going to find the child before they catch on fire. Mm. I'm more upset that this is also turning into Kung Fu Panda now. I mean... Poe was the last of the pandas, and his mom hid him away when people were attacking her kind. <laughs> this is literally Kung Fu Panda now, too. <sighs> oh, right. I'm having way too much fun with this. I'm sorry. <laughs> Her no, it's wait. fun. It's making for some fun commentary. <laughs> she withdrew as the sounds of yelling, this time accompanied by the barks and howls of dogs, came within earshot again. She mumbled something in what sounded like the ancient language as she gently caressed my cheek with her long, soft fingers. Oh my. Fingies. <laughs> Mommy, I love it when you touch me with your fingies. Plot twist, her mom is salad fingers. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's taking another bad turn, then. <laughs> Just unreasonably long fingers. It's either that or the librarian has replaced her mother in the flashback. <laughs> Stay here, you won't be safe. Don't mind the flames. It happens sometimes. <laughs> I should my dearest Ava. Return your library books. I steal your memories. I'm your mother now. <laughs> your mother didn't pay her library fees, Ava. Look at what happened to her. Therefore, <laughs> I have revoked memory of her existence. <laughs> you okay there, Zane? I'm just like picturing all the ways this could be abused. Like, maybe she doesn't kill the people she does this to, just nobody can remember them. So I'm just picturing someone committing a crime, right? Mm -hmm. But right before they commit the crime, they take some library books from the librarian. They're in the middle of the courtroom, about to be, like, you know, charged guilty for the crime, and then everyone just forgets why they're there. The librarian takes them then. <laughs> yeah. You are mine now. There's just, like, a like a flash like and like time stops for the guy and the librarian's just looming over him <laughs> do you know why I'm here <laughs> to interrupt my court case yes <laughs> do you know why else <laughs> you forgot to return something the money no <laughs> something important to me Something actually important. <laughs> Those the books drugs? are like my children. <laughs> Slightly more important mind. than the drugs. <laughs> no, this is amazing. <laughs> the, the, the librarian is the greatest thing I've ever come up with. Hands down. <sighs> <laughs> Nothing I will ever do will best to the librarian. I have peaked. <laughs> it's all downhill from here. Oh, sad. Oh, is it my line? <laughs> no, it's Tom's. Is it? <laughs> yes. Okay. Goodbye, my dearest child.
Goodbye, my dearest child. May your <laughs> life be long and happy. Know that I love you now and forevermore. And don't forget to turn in your library books. Oh God, that's what happened to the elves. They had overdue. They had overdue like return fees. <laughs> you are innocent of this because you are the only one who didn't check out library books. Therefore, you are spared. Mostly you because you're a baby. <laughs> you are too young to get library books or even have a library card. And so you're not you old enough to be. And you're not old enough to be tasty yet. So I won't. Oh eat. my god! <laughs> you are not like that lad of mine I stole. <laughs> <laughs> no, please. You call tell back. me if you bring that up. <laughs> and no one who saw that video, no one who listened to that episode is going to understand what the fuck I just said. The woman mumbled as she withdrew her hand, making me whimper in discomfort. <laughs> And with his eyes hungrily devoured my face. Ew! Uh, As she muttered something too soft to make it. I will be back for you later. <laughs> giving me the most sorrowful smirl sm I've ever smirl. witnessed on a person's face. She turned Flush. away and keep her tiara briefly flashing as she jumped out of sight. The I flushed shook him the down tree. the turlet. <laughs> <laughs> The force shook the tree and I whimpered in fear before suddenly feeling extremely sleepy. As I closed my eyes, I glimpsed, I glimpsed a red and black sky and heard the sounds of Fadl a little ways away before everything went black. After that, and this is the last chapter of, all, of the old content. From now on, it's entirely This is still content. the old content? I do hope you enjoyed this chapter. <laughs> I enjoyed our additions. Yes. <laughs> like the librarian. <laughs> and Tree librarian. Daddy. The librarian makes everything better. Tree Daddy. <laughs> oh, oh, God. God I was just thinking about the fucking joke with the hobbits. <laughs> Applying to, like, the thing we said about elves. Well, what about second puberty? <laughs> 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 what about puberty? You just went through puberty. What about second puberty? He doesn't know about second puberty. <laughs> <laughs> Please review, for I love hearing feedback. See you next chapter. Vanyata Leta Casta Apter. Vanyata, stop. Come back. That's the translation in case you were wondering. <laughs> your cat girl Something 15. About your cat girl that's 13 years old. Oh, God. Uh, it has not been an hour yet. Nope. Hold on, yep, you just want to like wait like one, two, three. Dude, four, <laughs> we are not waiting five, out for ten minutes. Six, seven, eight. Chapter nine, seven. Ten. The author's note. Hello again. Like I promised, this is entirely new content. 14, I'd like 15, to thank. Sixteen. It's sixteen minutes, not ten. Azuraya, for reviewing the last chapter. I'd also like to thank those who have followed Faved and just read this far. I love you guys. The feeling is not mutual. Um, ooh. Now, we don't know if she's an actually good person or not. We just don't like her well, stories. No, I'm not saying that I don't... I'm not saying that I hate her. Hmm. Not really strong feelings towards her, except for the whole thing of not, really not liking how she uses themes of assault. That being tastelessly. You better um, rest. How many meerkats do you know have been, lived to be 13? <laughs> well, she's no longer <laughs> meerkat girl 13. She's now 20 druidic cats. See? That's, she's growing that's like as a person. And, that's like 180 lives. Good lord. Yeah. Plus uh, plus the druid trait that makes it to where you, you don't age as fast. Ooh, I'd like to add that chapters may be less frequent from this point on. I've got to edit and tweak the rest before I can post them. Please read and review for feedback. For feedback. For feedback is my brain food, ooh. -woo. Please enjoy and see you next chapter. Signed, Meerkat Girl 13. Feedback. He's hungry for plants. I'm always I hungry. I the brekkie. And I'm not <clears throat> keen on red meat, so yeah. 
That's why I prefer dark meat. Mm. Well, red meat's also just not healthy for you. My breath hitched in a sob as the sounds of nigh death's creaking stride and the smells of the forest no burning fl filtered back into my brain. Tears I was streamed. amazed that I hadn't been burned to death as a child when my mother hid me in a tree. No, no, if the librarian hit her in the tree, she probably uh, she was probably warded from the flame because librarian... I shall come back for you once you are perfectly cooked. <laughs> <laughs> I shall come back for you when you can actually get to library books. No, 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 I was just thinking that the intention was having the baby there so they accidentally got burned to death and would be cooked thoroughly. Mm -hmm. And then that tree just never caught fire. <laughs> Tears streamed over my tightly shut eyes and down my warm cheeks as I realized that not only am I a purge survivor, but my own mother stashed me away knowing she would die for her actions. Unbidden. Again, was she, like, she hit you in a place where you would have likely starved to death. Unbidden, another image surfaced up from the depths of memory. Oh, dear. What if she hid the child in one of those, like, ints? <laughs> and the ant was currently going, oh shit, a fire, and he was still kind of moving. She, she shoved, kind of out, she shoved a Ava in an ant hole. Yep. <laughs> no, that I'm not like rephrasing that. <laughs> <laughs> Ava got shoved in an ant hole. <laughs> wonder how the ant felt about it. Well, I think it was non consensual, so probably not very good. <laughs> Tom is uncomfortable. <laughs> Here's the thing, though. He's, he talks so slowly, he wouldn't be able to, you know... Oh, dear God, why? About it. I don't think that... Like just, I don't... Oh, hello, Queen. What? <laughs> Please stop. She's already what? gone. <laughs> why are we, like... Going so creepy this episode. <laughs> Why are we talking about assaulting trees? I don't know. Because trees don't have rights. <laughs> I, I wish we could save the world. Yeah, that might be part of the problem now that I think about it. I mean, there is one tree that has rights, but that's a different matter. Can I make I'm not the kidding. There's a tree that technically owns itself and the plot of land around it, so it cannot legally be got like cut down <laughs> nice hmm. interesting uh, so the only way that that tree can get cut down is the government saying they need to unless they're in one of the states that don't do that uh, let me find it the tree that owns itself um let's see. If I recall correctly at least in texas there's like the government can seize your land if it's for like public use eminent domain I think so, yeah, something like that. The tree that owns itself is a white oak tree that, according to legend, has legal ownership of itself and all land within eight feet of its base. The tree, also called the Jackson Oak, is at the corner of South Finley and Deary Straits in Athens, Georgia, United States. The original tree, thought to have started life between the mid-16th and late 18th century, fell in 1942, but a new tree was grown from one of its acorns and planted in the same location. The current tree is sometimes referred to as the son of the tree that owns itself. Both trees have appeared in numerous national publications, and the site is a local landmark. Uh, the earliest known telling of the tree story comes from a front-page article entitled Deeded to Itself in Athens Weekly Banner of August 12, 1890. The article explains the tree was, uh, had been located on the property of Colonel William Henry Jackson, Hen uh, William Jackson, son of James Jackson, a soldier in the American Revolution, as well as a congressman, a senator, and governor of Georgia, and the father of another James Jackson, a congressman and chief justice of the Supreme Court of Ju uh, Georgia. He was the brother of Jabez Young Jackson, also a congressman. William Jackson was uh, reportedly a professor at the University of Georgia and is sometimes given the title of doctor. The nature of his military service and the source of the title colonel is unknown. Jackson supposedly cherished childhood memories of the tree and desired to protect and desiring to protect it, deeded it, uh, deeded to the, uh, deeded to it, the ownership of itself and the surrounding land. By various accounts, this transaction took place between 18, 
20 in 1832. According to the newspaper article, the deed read, I, W.H. Jackson, the county of, Clark, uh, of the county of Clark, of the one part and of the oak tree, of the county of Clark, of the other part, witnesseth that, uh, that the said W.H. Jackson, for an inconsideration of the great affection which he bears said tree, and his great desire to see it protect, uh, protected, has conveyed by these presents, uh, and by these presents do convey unto the said oak tree the entire possession of itself and all land within eight feet on, of, all, uh, of it on all sides. So, basically, uh, uh, con like, the governor of Georgia decided, you know, I really enjoyed this tree. Or, wait, uh, not current. William Jacks, uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, okay, so he didn't, but yeah, William Jackson was like, I really like this tree, so to make sure that it doesn't get cut down, I'm going to give it the deed to the land around it. Hmm. Being as it was on his property. I almost always presented as fact, however, only one person, the anonymous author of Deed It to Itself, has ever claimed to have seen Jackson's deed to the tree. Most writers acknowledge the deed is lost or no longer exists, if it in fact ever did. Such a deed, even if it did exist, would have no legal standing. Under common law, the person receiving the property in question would have to have the legal capacity to, re uh, to receive it, and the property must be delivered to and accepted by the recipient. <laughs> well, shit. <laughs> Well, that's just completely unfair. I think the tree should be its own person. Yeah, I trust the tree more than I do mo most people. Also, it's Zane's line. Yay. The two wolves nuzzled their pup affectionately for a brief moment before the white one looked up and barked a warning. A group of wild cats attacked and killed the two adult wolves after the black one ran to hide the pup. Dear God. I, if you're going to be having symbolic visions, don't make them fucking obvious. I gasped as I realized, truly realized what that smoky image meant, that the vision didn't sh uh, what the vision didn't show was the utter terror and determination on the woman's, no, my mother's, fair face and sharp smell of trees twisting and blackening under the blaze the humans set. Not the image of the red sky peeking out of the utter black of the wall of smoke. Not the sounds of the warhounds relentlessly tracking and hunting her mad, uh, mad flea to get me to safety. Nothing, absolutely nothing, prepared me for the memory of the horror that night was, all residing in the back of my mind. Like I feel like if you're going to have a prophetic vision thing, I can't make it towards so ridiculously obvious what's going on that you might as well have just had it play out with people. Because that was the thing of, like, the whole fucking thing back whenever this was just Shrek the Third, but Abe was there. Uh, where, like, the whole thing with Merlin showing, like, the whole, like, fucking smoke images. Mm-hmm. Because that's what this is referring to, where it was like, oh, wow, this is really obvious what it's saying. I hate it. Yeah. I can see where you're coming from. <clears throat> like, don't hold the audience's hand. Let them think. People can think. They don't do it a lot, but they can. Don't insult your audience. It is, it is intelligence. By explaining things to them. Young Talela? Nideth's concerned voice snapped me out of my thoughts. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> <clears throat> uh, it's a terrible time to have allergies. Yes. Zane's line. Zane. Sorry, I just... I'm not playing that game anymore, but it's just I need to, I need to cleanse my palate, so I've just been reading something. Where's my line? I took, right? I took? I took a steady breath, trying my hardest to compose myself enough to speak clearly. 
my mother, she's how I I survived. She she took me and hid me in a t t t t tree, a tree with a with white bark and a great hole high up. She told me that she loved me and I and and left. My voice cracked as I succumbed to another wave of sorrow and horror. I felt tremors run up and down my body as I gasped for air, trying desperately to regain control of my frayed emotions. A deep tremor, completely unrelated to my body's release of emotion, ran through me at the same time a deep hum reached my ears. I forced myself to quiet some as I both felt and listened to the hum, eventually recognizing it to be a lullaby that I knew, though from where I had no idea. As I listened to Nigh Death's song, an effort to comfort me no less, I felt myself calming, finally able to focus on something besides the memory he drug up. <laughs> I'm sorry for traumatizing you. I realized after a while of sitting against Nigh Death's rough thumb listening, to the, uh, listening that the lullaby must have been one passed down through the ages from mother to children, and probably the very same my mother sang to me in the brief time she had to keep me. Grief welled up in me again, but I pushed it back down. I'm too tired to, to weep for the mother I never got the chance to know anymore today. No, no, let it out. It's healthier to do that. You know a thought that just struck me? You think? Surprisingly, yes. You wouldn't think it happens, but it does. Um, the whole thing is that it seems that she spent more of her life away from elves than with them. So mm -hmm. an interesting thing that could be done is just how different her actions are than, like, her ancestors. Instead of having it to where she's someone who very much feels attached to the traditions of the elves, like the societal constructs and norms of elves, could have a whole uh, an interesting thing of realizing just how different her behavior is from the uh, from like what the elves used to be, due to the fact that she has spent more time among humans than she has her own kind. Yeah, that's that is an interesting thing. Instead, she seems to think that society is genetic. Um, <laughs> but yes, again, there are ideas that are fucking interesting that could be done with this but aren't anyway hmm. Zane's line uh... Naya death nutmeg I asked when he paused to breathe <laughs> Yes, young Shalila. <laughs> Shaniqua. Sharkira. Was Shalili. that a song? Was, was that a song the elves used to sing? Shakira. And <laughs> hummed and and hummed and thought and, and after a few huge strides answered, "Yes, it was passed down from mother to children, and then their children, and so on." Why is it that you ask, young Ava? Do you finally see that this is what happens in second puberty? I, too, am an elf. <laughs> Hips don't lie is a very important part of our culture. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. What would you, like, with the fact that I had just said Shakira, and you were like, is that a song elves, the elves used to sing? <laughs> I thought that's what you were referring to. I didn't realize that it was the fucking line. I was like, wait. Wait, really? <laughs> I hadn't read that line yet. I, I wish I was that creative, but I'm not. I should have realized it then and there. You never think of the idea of elves singing hips don't lie. I never think of elves. <laughs> yeah. In general. Da -da -da. Yeah, fucking smooth skin. Anyway. I released a shuddering breath at the confirmation, willing uh, willing myself to stay calm. I I I, I, I hear that from someone who looks like he's always in a constant state of grayscale on pictures. 
I, 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 I think... not wrong. <laughs> I... <laughs> that was the dumbest thing I've ever said. <laughs> I think it's just how off guard it caught me. Look at hell. I, I think my mother used to sing me, sing it to me. I, I, I never realized it until now. I, I didn't realize that Shakira was the voice of my people. <laughs> Plot twist: Shakira was actually an elf and is uh, Ava's mother. <clears throat> oh God! Plot twist: <laughs> Shakira is the queen. Here. Plot twist: Apparently, it turns out that elves are thick. <laughs> oh God! Thick elves, not long elves. They mm. thick and long. Thick, long elf. <laughs> I like Them elves elf. got thighs. <laughs> the ant hummed and was silent, save for the dull thud of his passing. Wait, he died? <laughs> Feeling a trickle of bravery, I crawled to the edge of his palm and gazed down at my surroundings. I think it was that his footsteps. <laughs> Although, I, I, yes, know it, I know it. I know it was. I'm just... of his passing makes it suddenly seem that he just keeled just... over and died. <laughs> just, I don't just think face plants. Dull thud with how tall he is. <laughs> there was a slight creaking noise, and suddenly I was ex just hurtling swiftly towards the ground. Uh. He's still carrying her. That'd be horrific. <laughs> I want to make a treant character. <sighs> in what, D&D? &D yes. Because that would have to be an NPC, unless you were using, like, variant rules for large characters. Yeah, there is, uh, yeah, I'm actually looking at, like, uh, homebrew treant eggs. race. Uh, homebrew yeah. treant race, and then the large player characters in oversized uh, um, homebrew yeah, rules. Yeah, oversized weapons. That way they're not counted as large weapons and therefore ridiculously fucking overpowered. Mm -hmm. They're more of an in-between step. Yes. So I guess, like, uh, Pathfinder's large weapons. Yeah, I mean, that could work, but what I want to do is I want to make a treant monk. <laughs> Just... Dear God. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, make him more of, like, a grappler-type character. That would be really fucking cool. <laughs> a wizard should know better. <laughs> 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 You should know better than to cross me, young one. No, no, I'm just imagining, like, that whole thing just, like, picks up, like, the enemy, like, the enemy, like, spellcaster by their shirt. It mm -hmm. lifts them off the ground. A wizard yeah, should know better. Let's go slugs them out of the air. Yeah, that or uh, plants them a dumbass tree. <laughs> just... It just slams a wizard into the ground, burying his head in the in the ground. <laughs> Would you do the uh, bugbear thing to where technically the reach like reach is applied to his punches? Because of size? Uh, maybe. I don't know. <clears throat> I still need to fucking roll up that bugbear monk at some point. Mm hmm That'd be fun. <laughs> From yeah, down, down. <laughs> <laughs> line is it? It's Zane's. What's my line? Now that it was about mid-afternoon. Now that it was about afternoon mid, the forest didn't seem I... as gloomy as the <laughs> night before. Oh. Fickle light flittered down through the massive treetops, giving the land below an almost magical feel to it. Birds sang and flittered out of the way, accompanied the, accompanying the chatter and warning squeaks of the mice, squirrels, and other rodents inhabiting the ground. All around the trees and foliage shook with every step the ant took, causing a cascade of dead leaves to rain down from the amazingly tall trees. I gaped again at the beauty of it all, feeling moisture gather at the edges of my eyes as pure awe filled me. I let them fall as I took it all in, twisting left and right to try and absorb it all. If the int noticed my amazement, he never showed it, instead pausing before a pair of different-looking trees and gently parted them. Tenses, causing a cacophony of shrieks and chitters as the inhabitants rushed to safety. Uh, what came next brought tears to my eyes for an entirely different reason. 
It was the librarian. <laughs> I we were have going to have a kaiju fight. <laughs> kaiju fight between the tree ant and the librarian. <laughs> tree daddy, what are you doing with that little thing? I found it. It is mine. I claimed it before you were born. No, actually, wait, no. I claimed no. it when it was a baby. <laughs> I claimed it about 18 years ago. You are definitely older than that. Mm -hmm. You've already <laughs> gone through second, pu second puberty. <laughs> <laughs> the librarian versus, versus Tree Daddy. <laughs> oh, God. You know that's going to be the title now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I made a title. <laughs> Like, I can't not make that the title. Hmm. Oh, In God. complete contrast to the living, breathing forest behind us, the land reeked of death and destruction. The trees that surely were as magnificent as the ones behind us were reduced to twisted, blackened shells. The earth was littered with their pieces, branches and roots twisted from the heat that had been their death. The sun shone unfiltered here, scorching the already dead landscape with its relentless heat. Things glimmered in the light, and upon further examination, proved to be pieces of swords and armor from a long-ago battle. My eyes squinted at objects painfully white against the brown and black landscape near the various bits of armor and weaponry. My brain tried to figure out what they were. It was only when Nookmag, I don't know, Nazareth, shifted slightly that one of the objects became clear to me. Just a sec, I... Uh, let's see. There we go. Uh, the perfect thing for what just happened. Oop. Uh, okay, there we go. Immediate thing that this made me think of. I... Computers? No. <laughs> Free birds yell. Yeah, that moment where Treebeard comes to the wrecked part of the forest and just screams. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Oh, I've never watched Lord of the Rings. Ar Zane! <laughs> Zane, we need to, like, at some point, you, when this is all blown over, out. clear out a day, just an entire day, sit down and watch the trilogy. I would love to make an excuse, but I have nowhere to go because of the virus. <laughs> like I said, once this is all over. Hey, three people can be together. We're not a group of ten. I guess that is. A <laughs> I'm point. not as big as two people yet. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you're also shorter than both of us, so yeah. In my short, pudgy baby role. Anyway, uh, yeah, I guess it just has to be a day that we're all free. Mm -hmm. Fun with that. Mm. All right. Let's see where the. F uh, I was looking at the remains of what was once my kin. Oh, dear gods. I squeezed my eyes shut as a violent mixture of horror and nausea hit me. I crawled into myself, holding my stomach as I fought down the bile that rose up into my throat. Taking deep breaths, I opened my eyes, only to shut them again as I felt nigh death move. I lost many friends here. The sorrow in his voice forcing my eyes open to gaze at him. And they're ripping off Lord of the Rings once again. <laughs> yes. He wasn't looking back at me, instead at the wide swath of destruction, pain, and grief in his grass eyes. Ew! Ah, I hate it! I hate it! <laughs> no! No! That is disgusting! Ew! Ew! I remember this day. It. And I hate it. it. Hmm. I remember. Yes. Yeah. No. No. I remember this day. Breathe, Lydic. It's okay. It's just words. It can't, has, it can't hurt you. He has you. grass in his eyes. He is growing grass from his eyes. No. He, Ew. He, no. He's, a tree, he's a tree, Lydic. It's okay. No. <laughs> no. I remember this. Why would I he remember. be growing grass? He's a tree. Hmm? I remember this day as if it were yesterday, he continued. I was tasked in guiding the saplings away from the battle. Most of them were not Most of them were not even into their tenth year. I was called back after I got them to safety. 
but by the time I made it back, the humans had started fires and were using torches and fiery arrows to set fire to my kin by setting I, them on fire. I, I don't <laughs> I think you mentioned fire that many times, Tree Daddy. I remember their screams as they were um, eaten by the flames. I was one of the Did few... you almost say beaten? No. I okay. was one of the few lucky ones escaping with few burns. I was ordered to flee by one of my dying kin, though doing so would doom the elves in the city beyond. As I stomped through their city. <laughs> Honestly, I don't, I don't hate Tree Daddy. He's actually a decent character. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, because we've yet, like, he at least has some character, I think is the thing. Because that was the whole thing that I was getting at earlier with why her being, like, angry in that moment was so aggravating. Because Ava doesn't have an established character. She just does what the writer wants. Like, when you, when, you, when you create a character, when you write, one of the things you have to keep in mind is, what would this character do in this situation? Not, what do I want them to do? What would they do? Mm. If you have established a character... Like if you have done a good job establishing a character, you could think about you could think of just about any situation and know what they would do there. And that's the problem. With what we have established of Ava, she doesn't seem like someone who would suddenly get angry when picked up by a giant treant. She's just this is happening now. Like like that's the whole thing that was bugging me. Like, fucking Tree Daddy does seem to have a character so far, and it is consistent, that being laid back and depressed. Um, <laughs> mm -hmm. As well as occasionally causing a person to have PTSD flashbacks, but that's a different issue. <laughs> um... Whose fucking line is it? I believe it's Zane's line. Zane's. Um, he, he shifted. shifted. He, shifted. Mm -hmm. he shifted his gaze from the ruins to me, eyes full of regret and self-loathing. What happens when he blinks? The grass probably rustles. Nah. Nah. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> I legitimately hate it. <laughs> I turned my back on my duty as guardian of the capital city. Dratra blood. Dratra blood. And flew into the deepest parts of the forest. I what? left the elves in the city to burn its king and queen within it. Yeah, that's the other thing. Like, of course, she's the child of the elf queen. Hmm. And, of course, this isn't even something that's kept secret, because during that fucking vision thing earlier, it mentioned that... Oh, Tiara. Two, yes, it mentioned that Tiara is on the foxes. Anger and sorrow welled up in me, make, uh, making tremble like a leaf inside his palm. He was there, and he ran like a coward. <laughs> Don't hate on Tree Daddy. Come on. Before I can push my fury down enough to speak, Nydeth looked back out at the destruction and heaved a sigh. <laughs> I'm sorry, the line, don't hate on Tree Daddy. <laughs> How dare you look at Tree Daddy like that? <laughs> He's trying his best, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow went from us making jokes about... Like, some really goddamn weird jokes. This is the best character in this story. <laughs> I've latched onto weirder things. Not even gonna lie. I think part of it is just the fact that they basically just made depressed Treebeard. <laughs> Which Treebeard's already a likable character. <laughs> mm hmm And so... <laughs> like, it's not even a characterization that the author created. They just yeah, I don't even it. know what a tree bird is, though, so for me, this is still genuine. I've never heard of a tree mm -hmm. beard. 
yeah, that's the whole thing, though. Like, Treebeard was a likable character. Mm-hmm. Like, as I mentioned before, he was based on one of Tolkien's best friends and the fact that he was forgetful and never shut the fuck up. <laughs> There's an entire race, race of tree people. <laughs> yep. Uh... So, yeah, like, Treebeard's a likable character, and now you've just made it to where he's also depressed, which just makes you feel bad for him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's like... Yeah, this is a likable characterization, and it's not even one created by the author. <laughs> mm. They just took it from someone else and put it in there. It was like the Shrek moments. Shrek was likable because he was Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> not because of anything done by the author. <laughs> oh, hey, Shrek here. <laughs> what are you doing in my swamp tree, Daddy? <laughs> oh, <it's> tr- <laughs> I'm not saying you got to leave. I'm just wondering what you're doing here. Oh, you got some pretty nice leaves there. Great for wiping me ass. The fucking hell, why? <laughs> he was a nasty ogre. Zane, Zane, fan fiction win. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Um, no. Disappointed. <laughs> I'm disappointed. <laughs> Are you wanting yes. Zane to write this one? If I could alter the flow of time, young Ava, I would. I would have stood up and fought to my own death. Whether or not I would have made a difference, we will never know. He turned and caught my gaze with his remorseful one. You have every right to be angry, child. Feel fleeing my duty is the single thing I regret the most of my long life. Don't talk, I'm angry. <laughs> Don't talk to me, tree daddy. I'm angry. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Imagine being me. angry. Couldn't be me. Imagine being angry at Tree Dead. <laughs> the intensity of his regret, both in his eyes and voice, melted my anger away, leaving only confusion and sorrow. <laughs> God. But, but why? I managed out of a suddenly too tight throat, earning his full attention. Why, what young elf? Why are you taking me there? I asked. Why are you taking me to the capital if you fled all those years ago? Nidath held my gaze, then looked ahead as he stepped forward for the first time since we got to the battle site. I hope y'all didn't hear that. I did. (laughs) Damn it. (laughs) ASMR, but it's just sounds from the back of my microphone that nobody likes. (laughs) (laughs) This episode, my parents yelling about something trivial. Honey, did we get the milk? (laughs) I'm just wondering how they got to your apartment. (laughs) (laughs) I feel I owe it to the last... My dad actually says he wants to come up here, and I'm really worried. Oh, I called out to the last remaining members of the race. I called friends to take them back to where you, they came from. He glanced down at me for a brief second. In your case, young... Th- la- 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 <laughs> born in the capital city... Darut Sandstorm. Wow, Tree Daddy. What else can you do with that tongue? <laughs> oh, my. Also, yeah, Dothre Blood. The macabre name of the city puzzled me enough to, vo- uh, to give voice to my question. Oh, this name. Why is it called Daughter's Blood? Because that was how we that was how they founded the city. A sacrifice of the firstborn daughter was made to bring prosperity. It did not work. The librarian set fire to everything anyway. <laughs> the librarian consumed the parents for denying their child knowledge. Yikes. You do not wish to be consumed by the librarian, for she does not consume the body, merely the mind, leaving you an empty, hollow husk, forever, uh, forever cursed to wander the earth, unable to. Oh love God! Is that what? Is that what happened to, to Ava? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Fucking hell! <laughs> Fucking hell! <laughs> So, Zane's line. Hmm. 
What's my line? I... The, question. the question seemed. The question seemed to startle the poor ant, who paused mid stride. He heaved another sigh that reminded me of a strong wind whipping through the trees and stared at me. You have the most insatiable sense of curiosity. You would be the first to die in a Lovecraft novel. <laughs> He's not wrong. He muttered. <laughs> he muttered before continuing his path. No, I think why the fuck is the city called Daughter's Blood is a legitimate question. Yeah, that is a legitimate question, though I like our answers better. <laughs> I, oh, I God, waited. This deep librarian lore. <laughs> I waited as he gathered his thoughts. The librarian is not a creature. Uh, it is a state of being. Therefore, it is ever-present and um, never here. Regardless of the canon. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> the librarian transcends canon. <laughs> it seemed like an eternity before he spoke, a grave tone to his already deep, gravelly voice. Before the war, the city was named Alfredo, for it stands <laughs> on the edge of a vast lake. <laughs> Brisbane. Brisbane? Before the humans first declared war, they hired a small team of ass ass ins. To make the first strike, they snuck their way into the city disguised as one of the trading groups, escorting the messenger that Talbot sent to declare war on the king and queen. As the herald was seen, some of them snuck into the palace and disposed of the crown princess Katrina, her handmaids, and her fiancé. It was the eve of the crown princess's wedding. So that's what we need to do to the queen. Huh? Also, I put the ass in Assassin. Both of them, in fact. You have two asses? <laughs> no, my ass is just that great. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Here are my ass assins. They kill you by suffocating you when they sit on your face. <laughs> Best way to go. Ask. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> my man. <laughs> I'm trying to sneak into the castle to kill the princess, but I'm doing the castle. And the castle, yeah, Jinx keeps alerting the guards. <laughs> <laughs> On the night of the princess's death, there was the sound of clapping in the hallways. <laughs> Fucking hell. The assassins were struck down by the queen herself after hearing the declaration and fearing for her family's safety. <laughs> God damn it, all I can think about is the thick assassins joke. <laughs> what the fuck was that declaration? I don't want to know. <laughs> In the king and queen's grief, they renamed the city Datre Blood in honor of Princess Katrina's death. <laughs> That That's is a terrible bad. idea. Thanks for reminding everyone of what's making them depressed, idiot. That is not yeah, it's probably what cursed the place to be uh, burned down anyway. That's not how you cope with the loss of your child. Yes. Let's name a city after it. <laughs> Let's name a city after her death. Let's name a city right. after that traumatic experience. That'll make things better. There's one chapter left. We're going to save that for tomorrow. All right. That's a good idea. Um. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe we'll start on the next one because I'm sure that there's a sequel. Probably. I don't know. Mm. All right, okay. uh, special oh. special thank you to Destiny Barrett hey. and Longreach Jones for supporting us on Patreon. If you like what you hear and would like to support us, continue, uh, consider clicking that little link down in the description and donating to our Patreon. Uh, we appreciate you enabling us. Yes. We appreciate where's, you. Where's my special thanks for allowing us to do this terrible, terrible thing. Zane, thank you for showing up. 